So let's test out the Champ Spark EV1000. So it's time now to finally take our electric vehicle to the farm. So, farm to switch over. Safety first at all times. So, let's get going. Alright, time to test this motor. This is a 1000 watt motor and we're going to start with the lowest gear which is L. And you can see that as I start off on L, the max speed oh, is 25 kilometers an hour. Right, and then I'm going to go into medium speed and it picks up the speed a bit more. Comes to about 30 kilometers an hour. Finally, I go into high mode and give me 40 kilometers an hour so it's exactly as per the books actually going a little faster than 40 probably like 42 kilometers an hour and whoa what whoa what but i must say one thing about that about this vehicle and the fact is that the suspension is really hard right so uh things are a little on the hard side. Guess what I found? Mmm! I have finally arrived at the farm. So that means that it's time to work and see how the Champ Spark works as a workhorse. Time to get our stuff. Time to go collect some stuff. So it's me and Lita, our farmhand, who is off to get something very, very important and valuable. We're here. So, what is that high value thing that we have come for? It is nothing but some very, very good cow manure. And then there's that one very other special thing about the champ's back bed. And that is the fact that it can open on all sides. That makes the job so much easier. And did I mention that the truck bed is 1.5 meters by one meter wide? And the fact is this vehicle, the truck bed can take 250 kilos in weight. Uh, that, some, for some people that might not be that much weight, but still quite impressive for a small EV. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, five batteries, each one of them 12 volts, driving our 1000 watt batteries right over there. All safely underneath the truck bed of the Champ Spark. So at the end of the day, is the Champ Spark EV1000 a winner. Let's list out the pros. The fact that it's an EV 
means that number one, it is definitely cheaper to run than a petrol vehicle. It doesn't require any maintenance like engine oil. And thirdly, if you are able to produce your own electricity just the way we are, that's even better. The other aspect about this part is its price. In Thailand, this is priced roughly about 2,000 US dollars. It's about 60,000 Thai baht, which makes it quite a bargain considering the fact that the petrol counterpart of this vehicle is priced about roughly at the same price. But it does come with some of those cons as well. And one of them is the fact that not many people know how to fix this vehicle. If you had a traditional petrol vehicle or internal combustion engine, then anybody in the village would be able to fix it up. But in the case of the Champ EV, you need someone, an electrician, who really knows their stuff. Which means for us, that means going all the way into the city to get it fixed. At the end of the day, I just can't help it but mention this fact. Having an EV means you're kind of already in the future. Think about it. Five years ago, eight years ago, the idea of driving around in an EV would have been quite a distant reality. But today, it's here. It's right here. And for that very reason, for me, I would definitely choose the EV.